Hi, welcome back to BusyBots for another tips and tricks video. Recently I had a good question uh, posted to one of the other videos that I've made and the person asked, what happens if you print the letter T and you want to print it upright like this? What happens to the plastic? Does it just kind of fall down or how do you, how do you print a letter T like that? Well, the answer to that is support and I'll explain that in this video. So you can imagine if you're printing something that's flat, something that will be flat when it's finished, like this spider web, that it draws each layer, layer by layer, and when you're done, it's all built up on top of each other, and you remove it from the platform, and you have a flat print. But what if you wanted to print it standing up? What if you wanted to print uh, a letter or a word with a letter T? How do you do that? Well, one answer is that the way that you design the file is important. Uh, you can design it to be printed upside down, and you can imagine if the letter T were upside down, I should have a stick figure. Um, you would print the bottom part first, the cross part of the T, and then this part of the T, the vertical piece, and, and that would be fine. But sometimes you'll design something and it just can't be printed that way. Uh, or you have multiple pieces within the print, and some parts can be upside down, but some parts are stuck the other way at other angles, and they'll be floating out in space, uh, hanging out in empty space, which means that the printer can't print it. So the answer is, the solution is called support. And support is where the printer will actually print thin little strands of plastic up from the bottom, uh, from the build plate up to support the, the cross arms of the T during the print. And then after you remove the print from the platform, you actually uh, snap away those supports and discard them, and you're left with the T. And that's what I'll show you. Uh, um, I'll, I'll go into Replicator G, and I'll show you a few different ways to lay out the letter T, and I'll show you turning on the support options and uh, you, hopefully you'll get a feel for it and hopefully it answers the questions and you'll see that there are li uh, real limitations to the way that you can print things and you have to keep those in mind when you design things. I see that on Thingiverse sometimes people will throw a design up there and it's basically not printable, at least not in the way they presented it. So I uh, hope this is informative and um, let's take a look. Thanks. This area here represents the build space of the replicator, the replicator one and here's our T and it's upside down and we can print it this way without support the way this will work is the printer will print the first layers here along the bottom, we'll zoom in here first layers, it'll go up and up and up, it'll complete the cross and then it'll print and it'll complete and there's no problem here, there's no overhang, there's no need for support now let's take a look at printing it right side up now, think about what will happen here when we print. It will start printing at the bottom of the T. It will go up and up and up until we get to this uh, cross at the top of the T. Now, when it tries to print over here, this print would just fall down. The plastic would just fall down. There's nothing to support it. So when I gener generated G-code, I've selected the option for uh, support and wrap. They go together, and we're using exterior support. And what this will do was build up pillars of plastic along the bottom here, where my cursor is, up all the way to the height of the bottom of the T. And then when the cross part of the T prints, it'll be supported by that plastic, the support plastic. And then after the print's complete, you snap that support plastic off, and, um, and then you have left is your T. And there'll be a little bit of a rough surface left where the support was attached underneath the T, which is one of the disadvantages. But it does allow you to print shapes like this. So when I come back, I'll show you the printer printing first the T upside down without support and then the T right side up with the support. Here's the first T that I'm printing out and this T is upside down. So what you're looking at is the actually the top of the T, the cross piece of the T. And it's printing down onto the platform and this will not require any support. It'll print the top of the T first and then it'll print the vertical section of the T and this should not require any support at all and here we have our finished letter T it's upside down but no support was needed to hold it up next we'll build it right side up and that one will require support this is the T printing right side up it may be a little difficult to tell but what you're looking at is in the center of that cross piece is the vertical part of the T. And to the left and the right, the thinner parts that it's printing out is the support material. 
and that's what we'll end up removing later on. So just that central part that it's printing, uh, what well, I was going to say right now, it's too quick. Uh, this, that, that part right there. That's the, the part we're going to keep, the center part of the T. And uh, most of that plastic that you're looking at is going to end up being wasted to support the top cross piece of the T. Our right side up T with support is complete and so you can see clearly the T in the middle surrounded by this support material which is quite thin and uh, it's designed to be removed it's thinner and this is an artifact of the uh, creation of the support that will all come off and it's printed on our raft a little teeny raft you can see down there just to help the support to stick to the platform and let's see if this will snap right off here there we go all right, so we've got our two T's. First one was printed upside down. This one here like this. And I'll show you how to remove the support. Okay, we now have our two letter T's. This was the first one we made, and it was printed upside down like this on the build platform, actually standing up like that. It didn't require any support. This T we printed standing up, like this on the platform. See there's a raft on the bottom. This helps the support material to adhere to it. And the support itself, which is this very thin layer, just enough to support the top of the T when, it, when it's printed. Next I'm going to remove the support, and I'll show you what's involved there. And you can see I've got a couple of little files here. There's always a little bit of cleanup to do after you remove the support. But basically, you just break it away. Now this, this T isn't too fragile. Sometimes you have to be especially careful. This isn't too bad. But unfortunately, a raft and the support always leaves a rough surface that you've got to take time to clean up. So if at all possible, we always try to print things and design things so that hopefully they don't need support or a raft. Sometimes it's unavoidable. And there's the T. There's the waste material. I'll show you. This is just very thin. It's almost paper thin. And we have our two T's. And to clean that up, I'll generally take a file to it, maybe some sandpaper, clean it up. And there you go. So I hope that explains a little bit about support, how it works, why it's necessary, how the printer works, a little bit about a raft. Of course, that wasn't a very large raft. I'll show you another print that required some support. This Robo Man here. And he still has the remnants. This is the support that I removed. And I have to finish cleaning him up. The reason he needed support because imagine if I printed him standing on his feet, what would hold up his hands as they were printed? Wouldn't work. So he was printed on his back like this. And I'll show you some stills. And unfortunately, um, it means quite a bit of cleanup on his back and working carefully around the fingers and the hands not to, not to damage the part of the print we want to keep.